Hi guys! Um, okay, so this is the March reading for Leo. Um, so everything that Leo needs to know for March. Um, so I'm gonna shuffle the cards now in a moment um, and we'll see what comes out. Um, first of all though, just a few things to say before we get into the reading. Um, it's Pisces season, so a lot of kind of going with the flow um, is necessary. Um, you know, swimming with the currents. Um, I've been kind of saying this for all signs because we're in the, the season of Pisces. Um, so yeah, a lot of watery en energy, emotions, kind of feelings, um, and yeah, taking time to go with the flow. Um, also, Mercury retrograde is coming up on the 5th of March, um, and I think it goes through to the 20th of March. I could be wrong about that, but it definitely starts on the on the 5th of March anyway. So yeah, Mercury retrograde is all about, um, you know, things going backwards or issues kind of arising, um, things not going the way that you want, setbacks, um, you know, things coming back in um, from, you know, previous times. Um, also, it can be problems with technology, um, you know, things that you might buy that don't turn out that um, they work exactly the way that you wanted them to or they don't have exactly the right features. Um, it can also be um, problems with like phones, computers, internet, all of that sort of stuff. So just be aware of that this month that um, Mercury is in retrograde. So um, so yeah, um, I was meditating on your energy before I came on camera and um, uh, I uh, had a few things come through. So the first of all, um, the number I got through for you guys is uh, seven. So if you're into numerology or anything like that, go check out what number seven is for you. Um, and also I got the word save. So save, um, conserve and change. So um, however that resonates for you, um, we'll see if any, any of that comes through in the reading, um, but that's just how, how that kind of came out for me. So um, the other thing was, is I kind of had a little image of a, of a magpie. So it was almost like a magpie, like stowing away, like little shiny little things for, you know, for, for a rainy day or for future events. So uh, again, saving and conserving. Um, that's kind of how it resonated to me, but take it how it resonates. Um, take it how it applies to yourself. Um, if it doesn't, fine it's not for you it could be just for a few of you it could be for none of you um so yeah so let's get into it sorry slipper my tea before i start so um also if you want to know any of the decks that i'm using in the readings um i'm putting all the information in the description box below so feel free to check that out if you want so okay so what does Leo need to know for March 4, 2019? March 2019 for Leo. What does Leo need to know? Okay. What does Leo need to know for March 2019? What does Leo need to know for March 2019? What does Leo need to know for March 2019? What does Leo need to know for March 2019? What does Leo need to know? Okay, wow, we've got a lot of cards. Okay, let's have a look. That one, that one. Okay, one more card. Let's leave it. Okay, that's bad shuffling, sorry. <laughs> cards are really slippy today. Okay, so one last card. <laughs> or two. Okay, so I'll take that. They both jumped out together, so. Okay. Over, see what we've got. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a minute to look at the cards. So if you want, you can fast forward to the actual where I start reading, but I just want to take some time to kind of have a look at them, put it all together. So the underlying energy um, that you have, Leo, is the Empress. So the Empress is a lovely card. It's a really nice energy to have as your underlying. Um, the Empress is all about, um, it's about things coming to fruition, like um, har harvest almost, but not, not necessarily in the sense that it's already here and you're already reaping the rewards. It's more of a, if you have a look, like um, she's actually, like the Empress is actually like, she's kind of like pregnant she's like fertile with um new things new beginnings um it could be something to do with matters of the heart um or something that you're passionate about um something that you may have been uh, passionate about for a very long time and you can see all the oats or the wheat is all like sown here and it's ready for reaping so things are starting to come into fruition um and you're starting 
to see kind of uh, your efforts or your rewards starting to pay off, but you're sitting in your knowing as well. So the Empress is all about, yeah, so kind of new beginnings, but um, in your own kind of knowing that things are coming. Um, so, so work with that. So again, it's Pisces season, so work, go with the flow as well. So um, that's always kind of important as well. So let's get into it. So... So the first card you have out here is the Ten of Cups. Um, wonderful energy to start with. Uh, really nice. So Ten of Cups, uh, it's, you know, a 10. So it's the completion of a cycle. Um, it's abundance. Um, you can see there, there's a rainbow with a beautiful Ten of Cups. Um, there's a family. They're celebrating. Um, it's very bright and bold. Um, so yeah, really nice um, energy there to start off with. Um, so to me, this is almost like, uh, like I was saying with the underlying energy card, the Empress, it's almost like your, uh, like the, the fruits of your labor or what you've been trying to manifest for a long time is finally coming into play. So that's a really nice energy to have coming in at the start of a month. So I really like that for you. Um, the second card you got then was the, uh, uh 10 of pentacles, or sorry, not 10 of pentacles, uh, eight of pentacles. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is all about, um, yeah, so working hard. You can see he's like, he's sitting there, um, he's done all of these uh, pentacles already, and he's sitting working hard on this one pentacle that he's got in front of him here. So it's 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 about um, keeping on, keeping on, um, doing your daily grind, um, working hard at the things that you want um, or for the things that you want. Um, so um, I really like the fact that this comes out with this um you know straight after this card because this is you know things that you've been wanting or things that you've been trying to manifest are coming into play and this is all about keeping you know keeping going with that um keep working hard keep um keep soldiering on with the hard work that you're already doing because it's going to pay off um or it is paying off um so yeah and, and like i said at the start of the video you know with the, that kind of save and conserve kind of uh that i was talking about this is all about that you know um saving and conserving what you've got working hard for what you have um or what you want to kind of manifest into your life um so you know pentacles as well are all about you know kind of the um material things that you have in your life in terms of the kind of the foundations so things like your finances work career um you know family um you know uh, your home all of that sort of thing so if you know anything to do with those sorts of things that's kind of keeping working at that so um i like that um also um the fact that this comes out with the uh cups the ten of cups um if this isn't to do with career um, and this is to do with, you know, um, love or partnerships, uh, friendships or anything like that, could be with a family member, could be with a partner, could be a friend. Um, you know, the Ten of cup, Cups is all about um, emotions and feelings um, uh, as well as, you know, you know, love um, and that as well. So um, it could be that, you know, you're working hard on, you know, um, making sure that your family life or your home life or, you know, um, even a love interest or you know, um, things with a loved one are going well. Um, so if you keep working hard at that, that is coming. So um, whether it's to do with career or finances or family or a loved one, um, you know, there's abundance there. So keep working at that. I like it. Okay. So um, the third card then that you've got is the High Priestess in reverse. So the High Priestess, when she's in the upright position, um, is usually everything to do with, um, you know, you're sitting in your own propensity, you're sitting in your own kind of your throne, you're sitting there in your no own knowing. So it's about intuition. So if you have a look um, here, um, you know, she's the, her crown has like a almost like a third eye. So it's almost like with the crown chakra and your intuition. So knowing that things, uh, so being comfortable and in your knowing. Um, also, you can see like her dress kind of flows down here. It almost looks like water. So again, it's Pisces season, a lot of water energy. Um, and this moon here, um, the moon is also um, to do with, uh, it, well, the moon card is usually um, a symbol of Pisces um, and it's also to do with intuition. So um, the fact that you've got the moon here as well, as well as the kind of the crown, um, the third chakra kind of, or the, the third eye <laughs> in, in her crown there, um, uh, it speaks to me like you're like, um, it's almost like that intuition um, and that kind of taking time within to figure things out and sit in your own knowing. Um, also, the pomegranate behind her is a sign of fruition. Um, you had that as well in the Empress, if you have a look. So it's the beginning of like um, the kind of 
the pregnancy of new kind of things coming into play. Um, so the um, pomegranate behind her is also a kind of symbol of that. So again, it's um, it's this kind of the start of new things coming in. Now, with this being in the reverse, to me, it almost feels like you're a little bit uncertain about your intuition on things or you're a little bit uncertain um, or unclear um, about how you feel things are going to work out or how you feel things are going to go for um kind of go for you going forward um so it's just kind of taking taking time to almost go with the flow like the flow of her dress there um and also it being Pisces season going with the flow of water um so going with the flow and really kind of connecting with your intuition on how you feel things are going to move forward um I wouldn't worry too much about that because you know you already have this coming into play anyway um so I feel like things are going to work out in your favor um so you don't really need to feel worried or uncertain about your kind of intuitive kind of feelings or thoughts about things you know because it's already saying that it's you know in, in the external kind of world things are already kind of manifesting for you it's just that internally it may not feel like it's that stable okay so um the fourth card you got then was the star card and um, now the star card came out in the reverse however um for myself all readers have different cards that they don't read in reverse and um, the star card for me is one of those ones that it means the same in the reverse as it does in the upright so it means the same thing um the only thing I would say is that if it does come out in the reverse is that it might just take a little bit longer or the energies might not be so quick. So normally the star card is a wish fulfillment card. So hey, well done. <laughs> well, I was about to say Pisces then. Sorry, lots of water energy. Um, well done, Leo. Um, so the star card is all about wish fulfillment. Um, so whatever it is that you've been manifesting and wanting to kind of come true or working hard towards, that is coming into play. So that wish fulfillment is around the corner. Um, also, I feel like, you know, that, like I said here, there is a lot of water energy here. Um, and again, it's all about that flow. So flowing from one kind of source all the way into the, this source. So I don't know, for me, I kind of get a feeling of you may have almost had like a, you may have had something that you're trying to manifest that for a long time was tricky um, or for, um, you know, for quite a while, it's been, it's been hard to kind of try and manifest that and keep manifesting keep thinking that it's going to come and keep wishing that it's going to happen um but now it's starting to trickle down into this big pond here so this big abundance of you know wish fulfillment depending on whatever that that kind of dream or manifestation was that's coming into play now so where it was hard things are becoming a lot easier or where something may have not been so close before now it's it's you know it's almost here um also, the fact that it's water here as well, there's water and land, I feel like um, it could be something to do with travel. Um, so um, you're moving from maybe some kind of smaller um, location or you're moving, uh, what am I trying to say? I feel like you're, you're kind of, you might be moving from one place to a much bigger place or somewhere that um, you've wanted to go to for a long time. So I kind of get that as too, um, especially the fact that this is the wish fulfillment card as well. So it's it's almost like a, a wish that you wanted or a place that you wanted to go to for a long time. You're going to be going. Um, so that's good too. This is also the card of Aquarius. Um, so you may be connecting with Aquarius. Um, you may know an Aquarius that you're going to visit um, or um, you might just have that kind of Aquarius energy of, you know, that drive and determination. Um, Aquarius is also your um, the opposite sign of Leo. So depending on where Aquarius sits in your chart um, or if you have Aquarius in your chart, it could be, you know, the, the opposite um, from yourself as well. So um, check out where that placement sits for you if you have Aquarius in there. Um, but yeah, definitely that kind of determination to do what it is that you've wanted to do for a long time. So uh, Leos are always very good at that as well. And Aquariuses are too. So, um, you know, you share that. Um, but yeah, definitely wish fulfillment coming in. Um, so that's brilliant. I really like that. So the next card that came up for you is the devil. Now, don't take this as a, you know, oh my God, the devil. That's not the case at all. The way I feel about this card, especially considering the spread that you have, is that the devil is just simply there to kind of be um, a little bit cautious, to kind of just make you a little bit aware that you need to take caution. <clears throat> now, in the way I feel about this is this, the devil card came uh, out in your spread um, just underneath these pe this uh, eight of pentacles. So for me, 
I really feel like this is telling you to be cautious with your coins. Uh, so be cautious with your finances, be cautious with um, money that you're spending, be cautious with the day-to-day uh, -day, um, money that you're maybe putting aside. Maybe you have saved a lot of money to do something that you and you thought you had more than you have. Um, it could also be that you might be spending frivolously at the moment, or spending too much um, on, you know, kind of things that you don't necessarily need. Um, you know, Pisces season for Leos can be a little bit aloof because Leos are very like, they like to be, they're a fixed sign. They like to be very, you know, um, fixed with the way that they do things um, and be very aware and, you know, save pots of money, um, have a certain order of doing things, you know, things like that. But with the Pisces energy at the moment, Pisces is very much with going with the flow and just seeing how things go. And it can be a little bit of a tricky energy for Leos to navigate sometimes. So um, because of that, I feel like that devil card is just coming up as a caution to be, to make you aware that, you know, maybe just check on the your finances to make sure you have what you thought you have um you know or or even don't get don't get caught up in um you know possible kind of uh, conflicts or you know office politics at work perhaps as well um and or also you know just don't spend too much so i feel like that's just a caution um to make you aware um but not not something that you really need to worry about it's just a hang on double check so yeah, so the um, the last card I got out for you then was the um, Eight of Swords. Um, now the Eight of Swords, um, the Eight of Swords to me um, is about, you know, sleepless nights, about worries, um, uh, it, Swords is thoughts. Um, so yeah, so thoughts that are keeping you up at night, um, issues that might be giving you anxiety, um, worries, um, and things like that. So. The fact that it becomes comes next to the devil as well, I kind of feel like you're almost worrying about these, this issue, you know, um, about, you know, making sure that you have enough. Um, so that could be also to do with that. But I also feel like it could be just worries or anxieties that you're kind of, that about, you know, your abundance not coming through or your manifestations that you've been working on for quite a while not happening as uh, as quick or in the way that you would like so um i feel like there's a little bit of anxiety about that now the card that came out that fell out along with this was the um 10 of wands so i i would say that you have been worrying about this and this is almost like a lingering energy um you know it's something that you can't really shake but the 10 of uh, wands in reverse uh, ten of Wands in the upright is usually that you have too many burdens, that you're carrying too many things on your shoulders. But in the reverse, I feel like coming out with this um, t uh, Eight of Swords, I feel like it's almost like you're coming out of that energy. You feel a little bit like you've been, you know, you've had the sleepless nights, you've had the the anxious thoughts, um, you know, you've had the worries. Um, you felt like you were carrying too much, but you're coming out of this energy. So it's almost like, especially like I said, if you've been um, trying to work hard at something for a very, very long time um, to, you know, create this abundance for yourself, um, it could just feel like, you know, you're like, oh, when am I going to get this? You know, I've been working for so long. Um, you know, when is this going to happen? Um, it could also be that you're anxious or you're worried about, you um, you know, that, that manifestation coming into play. So when it does come, uh, you're a little bit of anxious about how you're going to deal with it when it is actually here. Even though you've been working hard for it for so long, you're still a little bit like, oh, what am I gonna do when I do actually have that? Um, but don't worry about it, you're gonna be absolutely fine because, you know, you've got that wish fulfillment card, you know, it's it's been something that you've wanted for a long time and it's coming it's coming through for you. So, you know, don't don't worry about it. Don't get anxious about it. Don't don't fret too much about it. Just let things go with the flow. Like I said, it's Pisces season, so allowing yourself to go with the flow of this and coming out of this energy is going to um, do you better than you know sitting sitting in it and uh, fearing the worst because that's only going to create that devil energy for yourself and you're only going to start feeling worse about it. So don't do that to yourself, okay, Leo. I know that you want to overanalyze everything, you're Leos, um, and you are, you know, I love you guys. Um, I have family members who are Leos as well. So I, uh, I know that you guys can be very deep thinkers and very analyze or overanalyze absolutely everything, but um, you don't need to, okay? Um, especially with that underlying Empress energy, because, you know, those things are coming into fruition. So you don't need to worry, you know, you've got the Empress, you've got the Wish Fulfillment card, and you have that Ten of Cups that, you know, that you don't need to worry, okay? Um, 
but uh, like I said again, yeah, just be just be cautious of making sure that what you thought you had and what you have been working on, um, you know, is there already, you know, so that making sure that fi those finances are at the, you know, the level that you thought they were um, making sure that, you know, you're not overspending and things like that. So um, also um, just for a few of you um, with regards to, like I said, I was talking about this kind of um, this travel that I was saying um, about earlier on. Um, if you are um, going, you know, traveling um, or if you were thinking of traveling, I would just be cautious of this mentality of this worrying and this, this anxiety because, you know, if you're going away and you're stressed about it, don't be, um, you know, you're, you've definitely got that kind of 10 of cups in, in, you know, in play anyway. So, you know, just be cautious of how you're, how you're allowing your thoughts to maybe, um, override your, your inner knowing. Okay. Cause you've got this high priestess in reverse. So your intuition might be a little bit off. Um, so because of these thoughts or these kind of anxieties, um, so just be cautious of that because you don't need to be, you've got the 10 of cups. Okay. Um, so that was your reading, um, your main reading anyway. I'm just going to have a little look, see if I want to clarify anything. Um, first of all, let's have a little look. Um, I'm going to clarify this devil energy just to, to find out what that is. So, okay. So what does... Leo, what does Leo need to know about this devil energy? Why is the devil here for Leo? Why is the devil energy here for Leo, please? Why is the devil energy here for Leo? Why is the devil energy here for, Ooh, okay. We've got one popping out. Let's have a look. Two of swords, yeah, okay, so yeah. Um, so you had the two of swords pop out to clarify the devil. So, um, yeah, the two of swords is all about feeling like you're blindfolded. You've got to make a choice or you've got to make a decision, um, um, between two things, or you've just got to make a decision in your own mind. Um, but you feel like you can't because you're blindfolded, um, and you can't see what's coming. You can't see what you're doing. Um, but you still need to make that choice. So that to me, it really speaks about this, this anxiety that I was telling you about. So that those, those kind of mental thoughts of, um, fear or, um, kind of anxiety or anything like that is stemming, you know, that that's coming, uh, you know, this devil energy is just cautioning you about that because you're feeling like you don't know where to move or whether to move or, um, whether to, you know, uh, go one way or go the other way, um, or what choice to make. Um, so I feel like that that's what that is. Um, but like I said before, you don't need to worry because you know, you've got that 10 of pentacles coming through. So again, it's just a caution to not allow yourself to start feeling like this because you don't need to be feeling like that. Okay. So, um, that's that. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to pull some Oracle cards for you. Um, and let's have a little look and use earth magic. Okay. So I'll pull, um, all, I'm going to use three decks, three Oracle card decks for you. So I'll pull them all first and then I'll speak to you about them and let you know what happens. So what does Leo need to know for March? 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 Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, lovely. Okay. Okay. The second deck I'm going to use is the Spirit Oracle deck. So what does Leo need to know for March, please? What does Leo need to know for March? Okay. Ah, oh, lovely. Okay. Okay. And this is the universe has your back. Um, it's my new deck, so I love it. Um, so what does Leo need to know for March, please? What does Leo need to know for March? 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 Okay. Okay. So you had two pop out, so I'll take the two. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, so the first one that you got out was the shaman. So it's ancient healing wisdom. I'll show you the card now and I'll read it out for you. So let's have a look. Okay. So shaman, ancient healing wisdom. 
It says, All illnesses, whether physical, emotional, or psychological, stem from an illness of spirit. It may be due to soul loss, psychic intrusions, ancestral karma, or any other spiritual causes that could be contributing to the manifestation condition of which you seek help. Whether other methodologies or remedies you pursue, whether a, a sorry, whether I can't say I can never say this word, allopathic, yeah, allopathic alternative or combination, let the healing of your spirit be your priority. Know that the deepest spiritual wound is the illusion of being separate from source, great spirit, or whatever name you give your creator. It is the trick of the mind that creates the sense of separation. This is the time for deep healing, starting with your relationship with spirit. Call upon your spirit guides and ancestors to help you with any emotional, mental, or physical healing that you need. Call upon the creator to assist you in mending any rift in your relationship with spirit. Choose thoughts that support wholeness and well-being. Allow any darker thoughts or shadows to appear as well, but simply observe them as they arise in consciousness and then dissolve. See yourself as healed, whole and complete, and it shall be. Yeah, okay, so that really resonates, I suppose, um, with the rest of your reading. So it talks about, you know, um, you know healing and uh, making sure that any kind of like um, negative energy or kind of like karmic energy or, um, you know, yeah, any negativity is being healed and dealt with. So I really feel like that it's got to do with this card, this, uh, this anxiety, worries, uh, fears, um, pain that you have possibly got going on at the moment. It's saying that you need to address it and deal with it. Um, so that, you know, the, this abundance can come in for you and you can, you know, feel that healing. So lovely card. I really like that. Okay. So the second card you got um, was healing. Again, here we go, we've got a theme going on. So it says healing. Positive transformation is occurring on a soul level. The answer to your question is yes. So however that resonates for you. Um, I feel that that kind of goes with uh, this card as well. So I'm just making sure that you take time to heal. Um, you know, go within in your own intuition and, you know, make sure that that intuition doesn't feel, you know, um, unbalanced and kind of make sure that you kind of just heal from this energy so lovely so the uh, two cards that you had pop out um the first one was oneness is my true nature so yeah it's about going within um you know uh getting in touch with your intuition feeling at one with yourself and feeling at peace with yourself so again speaks to healing speaks to you know blocking out that or kind of working through that kind of negative propensity that you may be having okay and the last card that you got um that popped out as well was i am a spirit having a human experience and i'm here to get closer to love so that's a lovely card um and again you've got the third eye there as well um on the crown chakra so again it, it mirrors the crown chakra crown that she's got on on the top of her head here in the empress card or sorry the high priestess card um so definitely um to do with getting in touch with yourself um and uh and the world around you i feel um so again if you're you know if you're feeling like you're in that kind of conflict and you can't feel move forward it's just kind of going within and uh finding that love within yourself um, and that knowing within yourself, that intuition um, and kind of moving forward then slowly. Um, so yeah, lovely card. Um, so yeah, um, that was your reading, Leo. Um, I hope it resonated. Um, like I said, it is Pisces season. So, you know, go with the flow of things. Um, don't overanalyze things. Um, try not to, um, you know, uh, sit in negative energy for too long if you are feeling a little bit conflicted or unsure about how to move forward um good things are coming in for you you have the ten of cups and you had the wish fulfillment the star card as well so you know that good positive energy is coming forward um but like i said just keep working hard at those pentacles um and you know taking caution to make sure that you do still have you know um everything that you thought you had or you know just be cautious of your your, your kind of money at the moment um but good things are coming in so yeah um, so yeah, that was your reading for March. Um, like I said, I hope it resonates. Um, if it does, uh, make sure to like, um, share and subscribe. Um, and uh, if you're hitting the subscribe button, make sure you click the little wiggly bell so that whenever I put out new videos, you get a notification to let you know that there's new ones in. Um, and that's it. I will see you in April.